Hello and welcome to another video of Senator Vera Nads. My name is Oves Ahmed and I have been creating online content and courses for last three years. And in these three years, I have got more than 100,000 students on Udemy, more than 1,000 paying members on my YouTube channel. And recently we launched our own website and we have almost 10,000 students on our website as well. I have a lot of people asking me, how do I record courses? Because it's very overwhelming, which tools to use, how to set a studio. And you cannot go to channels which talk about general video production because that's very different they use some complicated editing softwares and we as course creators do not need those kind of softwares and it's very overwhelming there so i'll just make it really simple i'll show you in three steps how you can create courses which tools to use and by the end of the video we will have one video ready which i'll show you how i create from scratch see course creation is simple it's three different steps once you have an idea that what niche what topic of the course you're going to create the first one is setting up the scene the second one is how do you record and the third Third one is how do you edit and have a final output video. So let's talk about step one, which is setting up the scene. Specifically, to create course content, there are three components of a scene. The most important and the first one is the mic. The sound quality is the most important thing when you are recording education content. If you have bad video quality, if you have bad lighting, it's still okay as far as the voice quality is good. That's my personal experience. And I would say if you're investing, the first thing you should invest on is a good mic. So for example, I have been using Blue Yeti for a long time, which is a very good mic. I have used Rode USB mic, which is also a good mic. And I have used the Rode wireless mic as well. So all of them are good options. But if you are recording, planning to record on a table i would suggest to go with a usb mic and if you're planning to have some videos on whiteboard as well or while moving then you can go for the road wireless mic the second most important part of the set is the lighting after mic lighting is the most important thing if you have a good light and a shitty camera the video will still be good if you have a bad lighting no matter what camera you're using it will be still a bad video get a decent light and there's a range of lights available for creating like uh, course content for example you can go with elgato key light there is godox ml60 sl60 these are very good lights as well and if you want something budget friendly then you can go with newer lights they're good as well but the point is don't get overwhelmed by any any of these lights or any alternatives and you should be good the third component of your set is the camera now if you do not want to invest in a camera and you want to use your phone that's still fine as far as you have a good mic and you have a good lighting you can still shoot very decent video however i do not personally prefer phone because of the connectivity and how you transfer the files later to the laptop or desktop where you want to edit those and sometimes you get notifications but if you have money to invest you can buy any good camera for example the sony zv1 i used that for almost two years there's sony zv e10 there's canon e50 or m50 and there are some good cameras these are very good cameras they shoot 4k and you can have very very good videos as far as you have good mic and good lighting so these are the three things you need to create good video now the second part is recording the video how do you record for example maybe sometimes you're on your laptop and you have to share screen sometimes you have to show a demo sometimes you have to present slides and you have to shoot yourself as well and sometimes basically you need to have all these recordings for course content and online education videos the good news is there are certain tools which solve all your problem as far as you have a scene set you use one tool for all of this for education content it's just two steps setting up the scene and using one particular tool to record the videos and edit them as well and when it comes to these kind of tools there are options available however there's a learning curve with each of them for example currently for any screen recordings i use tela which is a very very brilliant tool it's cost effective it's simple it's easy to use and it has some very good functionality so it's like a one-stop shop so that's why i'm going to show you the demo in tela Okay, so now let's assume this is my screen and let's assume that I have to create a course where I have showed this presentation. So once you log in to Tela after registration, this is the home page. So the first thing you have to do is like it mentions here, uh, you create your account, record a video, customize your video and share your video. I'll show you each of these steps one by one. So once you log in, what you have to do is you have to click on, let's say, record a video. And it's asking me whether I want to use the web app or use Mac OS app. So I can download for Mac, but I'm going to use web app. So once I click on that, this is the screen. It's showing you uh, this particular screen, which uh, you can preview yourself, the camera settings, zoom in, zoom out, adjust the light or whatever 
so for me the light and all is already set so it's good uh, then you have these options for example the first one is and you can choose which mic do you want to use for example right now I'm using sure mic and if you do not have a mic you want to use your laptop mic you can choose that one as well same thing with the camera it's asking me whether I want to use the FaceTime HD camera in my laptop or I have this uh, camera connected as well it can directly uh, stream from that camera as well that's one good thing you can add the slides here for example i can click on present slides uh, i have these slides on my desktop you can import it directly from your google drive i'll click on upload from desktop this is the slide i have i'll click on open okay our slides are done they're imported in here so i can go through each of them now i can go ahead and i can click on record but also you have an option for example i have a nice background here if you don't and you want to blur you can just click on blur camera and it will blur your background i'll not select this option and also you have the mirror camera effect so you can just uh, rotate it like uh, with the mirror effect i like it without it so i'm really uh, ready to shoot the first part of the video what i have to do is i'll click on record you look great three two one and that's it <coughs> hello and welcome to the first video of google ads course this is okay so now let's assume that i shared all the slides i had to for this video what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and stop this video now if you see here uh the clip one is already created the first part of the video which i wanted to what you can do is you can click on preview to see how it's appearing now this is the video uh which is generally a lot tougher if you use the traditional um, editing platforms and camera then you have to stitch together here the good thing is the slides are here there's automatically a background uh, my video and audio is already uh, recorded here and what I can do is I can choose a lot of formats from here for example just with one button click I can just do okay I want the video to appear like this I want the video to appear like this this thing you see here the screen this is the final output video I can have it like this I can have it like this uh, b based on what you're sharing and how do you want it to appear there's a lot of formats you can choose from but personally I um, like this one like where I'm showing uh, the presentation but what you can do is you all, all also can do portrait if you are let's say for example uh, creating a video for a reel or uh, Instagram shorts or TikTok you can do like this so these are vertical formats if you want to create a vertical video and then square as well if you want to square but for if you're doing it for YouTube Udemy and any such platforms then you have to use the wide one and once you choose your layout there are other options like adjust camera framing you can say okay for example let's say you were um, sitting kind of in the corner of the camera you don't know so you can adjust it okay I want it now to be in now. this course okay. what we are going to so do is I can just adjust it and put it in the center so that I appear in the center and now let's go to background because I don't like this background it's very colorful I just want to choose something subtle Google, okay uh, yeah this looks better has. Uh, there are a lot of other settings like every basically it put all of it together with just one button click you get uh, these kind of editing effects which will take a lot of time if you're doing it in other platforms that's why I told you for content creators you have to use different kind of tools and uh, which make your life easy this is the very important feature I want to use which is trim because certain in uh, I was just looking at it there was silence or maybe I would repeated certain things which I made a mistake on for that you can use trim and uh, for example let's say I go back here if you see initially there was silence I started after a while and that's it <coughs> hello and welcome to yeah it's the video starts here so what I can do is you don't even have to edit like which takes a huge time so if you click on trim it automatically gives you these options like magic trim so it's saying buffer save 4.5 seconds by removing silent parts at the start and the end of the video it automatically will do that I'll click on buffer and silence is uh, natural fast and faster so I'll choose natural and I click on remove five silences so wherever I wasn't saying anything I don't have to go and manually cut that or trim that out it'll automatically do that for example uh, if I go here so here I was silent because I was looking at what I'm going to say so I don't have to manually go to each of these parts I click on remove silences and it's done 
filler word three filler words found remove one uh to say one seconds filler words are like mm, um like and stuff like that i can do that as well and i removed those as well and let's see and uh then there is transcript if you see that you don't have to manually add um the subtitles as well because for course content it's very very important to have subtitles and you can automatically uh, maybe sometimes there's some mistakes here and there you can just go through and add uh, whatever i used to spend a lot of time and money uh having some of the videos captioned and really at one point it became very very hectic but now if you see here for example i play here it automatically picked up the caption that's without wasting any time let's go back and let's create our first campaign so here I would like to make one last change to this video, which is my most favorite feature in Tela, which is called multi layout feature. To give you an example, for example, when I start uh, my video across the whole video, I have selected this template where I will appear here. My video will appear here and the presentation will appear here. But having the same layout across the video, for example, training videos are generally 30 minutes and above and it makes the video very boring so that's where the multi layout feature helps and makes the videos very engaging so for example in this video when i'm starting uh, the video until i show this particular slide i don't need to show this particular slide which is like the first slide of the course to do that what i'll do is i'll go here i'll bring the marker here and i will click on add layout which will kind of split and the clip into multiple clips so this part of the clip i just want to have another uh, layout which is camera only which is me talking so i'll select this one so that's how it will change and you can make these changes multiple times you can split the clips any number of times wherever it makes sense to show only you or maybe you want to use any of these layouts based on what you're showing at that particular time so if you see here i'll show you the preview how, how it will appear and make it more engaging Ads. Now, in this course, what we are going to do is I'm going to tell you a little bit about Google. So that's how it works. Uh, it's called multi layout feature and absolutely makes uh, the videos very, very engaging. So uh, now I'm done with this. What I can do is I can preview and see how the whole video is appearing. So I'll click here and see. So this is if I export it now, I can still check if there are any mistakes or there are silences or I want to remove certain parts. But for now, let me preview it here. So it looks fine uh, to me. I can copy the link and share it with someone if I want feedback, um, share it with someone in the team. Or I can just download this video here uh, as a file. And then, for example, if I have to upload it to Udemy or YouTube, then I can upload it there. For example, if you download, it asks you options. You can also download the SRT, .srt format subtitles as well. Because if you're uploading it to YouTube, you can just upload uh, the subtitles separately and add translations as well for different kind of languages. It's giving you an option whether you want to, which, uh, you want to export it in 4K, which is crazy uh, yeah let me download it as in 4k separate clips uh, clips exported as individual files no i just want it as one video uh, subtitles will be part of the exported video so it's asking you when you export the video whether these subtitles should appear or not in my case what i do is i turn this off because i download the srt file and i upload it separately on youtube so that this uh, otherwise there'll be doubling of uh, these uh, subtitles they will appear from that video and YouTube will add one more layer over it so I click on start export and that's it the file will be downloaded so now our video is downloaded let's take a minute and see the final output file hello and welcome to the first video of Google Ads course this is a professional course which we will go through and it's created by senator we run ads now in this course what we are going to do is i'm going to tell you a little bit about google which is google has 92.47 percent market share which makes it one of the best media platforms you can ever have i wanted to show you how does the sample google ads look like so if you see with the minimal efforts with just using one tool to record and edit we have a seamless output file and i wish you all the best for creating content online thank you so much and i will see you in another video